Do we have any young people in the audience today? <laughs> yes, one person, that's cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> My point exactly. Um, so, does your lab suffer from being organized by too many middle-aged white men? <laughs> Are you stuck playing the same scenario over and over again? Or maybe your web page looks like it's made in the 90s. Don't worry, young people got your back. We can help you in three easy steps. First, why you should include us in your project. Well, I believe that young people bring unique skills and value. We have been born into the technology you merely adopted. We know how to use Instagram. And we know how to make a funny meme to promote your project. So you don't have to look like this. Our experience matter. We have our angst and our avocados, and our perspective will help you create more believable and accessible world. You get a chance to be an activist. For once, instead of tearing people down, try to empower someone. And remember, it's a grown-up thing to take charge and to take responsibility, but it's even grown-upper to create space for others to learn and grow. Okay. So, where can you get young people? <laughs> <laughs> you can start from looking at the list of your organizers, crew, helpers, collaborators, participants, volunteers, and if it looks like this... <laughs> and if it looks like this, then you have a problem. If the majority of your collaborators are middle-aged white men, you're doing something wrong. So my advice is take a pen and cross out some of the guys. If you want to be controversial, you can cross all of them. And then look around, befriend your local teenager or you know anybody from like marginalized group. Uh, contact local NGO and bring some uh, members to participate or maybe even better. Organize. Make your event available. Check if the price is possible to pay. Throw in some sponsor tickets or some free tickets or invite people from this NGO to come for free or create volunteer positions for people to participate. And if you plan to invite young women, don't offer them spots as models. Make them carry boxes, make them wear monster costumes, make them leaders, drivers, designers, logisticians. Give them responsibility. <laughs> okay, so let's say we've got some young people on board. There's extra slide. Uh, how you should treat young people? That's an interesting question. And I think this is something you can take out from this talk with you, even if you're not a LARP organizer, because I believe that you should treat young people as you would treat any other human being. Don't assume that younger means less experienced, less intelligent, less responsible, unable to execute tasks or lead. Remember that a bunch of us here are second generation LARPers. Can you say you have 20 years of experience? Listen and learn from different perspectives. Empower, give credit, include in projects, share responsibility. Be forgiving instead of judging. If you're an adult, you know that we are all just pretend to have it under control. So you can give others space to play pretend and learn to do it as well. Don't be condescending. Trust that we know our stuff, even if we don't have it all figured out. And don't joke about our age, because we will be the ones laughing at the end. Thank you so much. <laughs>